Hey, Ryan Dahl here. Welcome back to Praise Charts. Today we are talking about electric guitar patches. This is a whole new world that we've been getting into with the world of Praise Charts. We've been doing sheet music and multi-tracks, but if you've got electric guitar players, probably something that they're constantly asking is, how do I get my guitar to sound like that perfect sound that I heard in the audio recording, whether it's Hillsong or Elevation or Bethel or Passion or all these great recordings that have such incredible guitar sounds. Sometimes songs have not just one guitar sound, but they have a whole bunch of different sounds uh, linked together throughout the verse and the chorus and the bridge and back to the tag and all of that. How can you get set up so that on Sunday morning your head is just not spinning with all the sounds that you got to get to? So this is what we're going to talk about today. And we have the exact resources that you need at Praise Charts with our new guitar patches. So I'm going to be talking to Canyon Lewis. Canyon has been crafting all of our guitar patches for Praise Charts. We're going into his studio. We're going to look at his computer. He's going to describe and break down exactly what he's doing so that we can make sense of electric guitar patches that you get from Praise Charts. So here we go with Canyon Lewis. Okay, Canyon, welcome Ryan to Praise Dahl. Charts, man. I love this guy. This guy is such a heart for worship and music, an incredible musician. He's a brand new worship pastor himself after playing on worship teams, playing electric guitar for so many years. You've dove right into the world of um, worship leading on staff in a church in Kelowna, British Columbia. How's that going for you, Canyon? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not you. Thought? You didn't think that. No, I, I know. Told you about it. Yeah. I know. I know. No, it's Canyon and I thing, have uh... such a good time together. Let me tell you, when we get together, it's just like constant banter no work and gets done. no work, uh, no gets, work done. gets done. It's all banter. That's right. But let me tell you, after all the banter, Canyon is the real deal. He really knows how to play guitars. Look in the back of his studio. You've got like a whole bunch of basses and electric guitars and the gear. You've made sense of a lot of pretty complex gear. So tell us a little bit about the work that you've been doing in the back end of Praise Charts. And what is this thing that we're going to be talking about today? Guitar patches. Yeah, well, uh, just, you know, in recent years, a lot of guitar players have been moving digital. Uh, away from the traditional like amp and pedal board setup, uh, it's just easier. Like most guys, most guitar players. Actually, Fender just released a thing saying that one in three of guitars they sell are for like worship Sunday morning players, which is crazy. Yep. Um, and so in that, you know, the P and W praise and worship uh, Sunday morning kind of guitar player uh, playing three songs, playing four songs, playing five songs. Guys don't want to haul their 40 pound rig, two amps, all their gear to Sunday, just, just for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. So they've been moving to digital. That started way back with line six with the pod. <clears throat> and it, uh, it was not good. It sucked. It was really <laughs> bad. Uh, but o over the years, digital has gotten really big. I think Kemper's fractal units, line six with the helix, which is super popular now. Um, it's gotten uh, just as good or even arguably I would argue for most players better because most guitar players don't know how to mic an amp, don't know how to properly run a signal chain, don't know how to, um, you know, change out your tubes or make sure your speaker's working and all these kind of things. So the digital units kind of have that all built in for you. Um, and so uh, also what's really cool about them is that, uh, you know, it's hard to dial in. If you only have like an hour or two on a week, to like learn your songs you know you get the songs thrown up a week before and you got an hour or two out of your busy week to learn how to learn how to play the songs half the time or more than half the time usually is spent on actually crafting the tone for mm -hmm. the part let alone playing uh the part and so uh having these one of the best you know features of these digital units are these kind of scene modes or pre or uh you know um 
scenes or oh, what is they what are they called in uh, every device has a different name for them basically they take one button you can click and it can change 12 different things or however many different things you want versus a traditional pedal board where you have to turn on one effect at a time and then you end up tap dancing between mm -hmm. parts of the song trying to figure out and remember what you're trying to do this just makes it easy you can relabel them verse chorus pre-chorus it's already dialed in you can do it beforehand uh, and then you actually spend all your time learning the part rather than having to learn uh, the sound. So I've been plugging away these last few months on a bunch of songs for mm -hmm. Shirts, just kind of uh, dialing them all in, the sounds that sound like they're on the record. Uh, and just so that, you know, for you guys, so that you can download and we're them. And we're not just talking like one device. You've got a lineup in your office there of about six or seven devices. You've got yeah, all the running, Helix ones. Tell running. us about all the different devices that you have. Yeah, so we're there's I think there's seven or eight now. We've got um, <laughs> with yeah I know uh, we've got the Helix, uh, we've got the Pod Go, we, the HX Stomp, uh, the Kemper. So that's both the floor unit or the like profiler head with the floorboard. Um, we've got Fractals Axe FX3, the FM3, the FM9 just came out, uh, but all our patches will work with that and the Neural DSP Quad Cortex, uh, which we're making patches for. But we haven't released any of those yet. No, for but those. we are waiting going to be doing that in the Quad yeah. Cortex store. You're going to be able to look for praise charts and find yeah. those available as well. So the thing is, is if you're new or you're well-seasoned in the guitar world, if you've got one of these devices, Canyon is basically taking our songs, our tracks, and uh, listening to them and making the signature sound of that particular song for every single one of these devices and then we're putting them in the price chart so that you can either buy the exact one for the device you have or we even have an option that for a few bucks more you can buy all the devices just in case you switch around or you decide you don't want to go helix you want to go with a kemper anything like that so we're going to take you first now into the praise charts world so that you can see what this looks like and then i'm going to take you into canyon's world and see what these uh sounds look like the patches look like on his computer so here we are in the um praise charts now this is at praisecharts.com forward slash patches that's where you want to go to get to this page and you're going to see canyon there with his luscious long hair that is all cut off now so there you go and you can watch a video we've got a video where we're recording him um um you know playing one of these uh, as a demo and then you can kind of see what these different devices look like so we've got lots of free patches that you can try this out all the devices uh, a bunch of songs are for free and this is what these devices look like the line six uh different options there and then the kemper and the fractal fm3 we don't have the fm9 up yet but it is coming up so uh i'm going to focus in on the line six and if you click on any of those you can see all the songs here click through those and when you click on any of these songs you're going to go right to the patch so let's go to battle belongs a signature song of 2020 from phil wickham it's got a great guitar line and uh, and this is what the patch page looks like. You've got an audio preview of the exact patch and description of how to get set up, making sure that uh, you're all installed, you got the software all lined up, and explaining about the pedal board mode, snapshot mode, and uh, tweaking your, uh, your sounds. So maybe that was some of the language you were looking for there, Canyon, is the pedal board mode and snapshot mode, right. that is snapshots. something. That's right. That's there you go. Scenes and snapshots. I couldn't remember mm -hmm. what it was. There. Okay, so give a little bit of an overview of what you're getting on this page. Like, what are you trying to lay out for the users when they get that patch for the first time? Pretty much everything they'd need to know. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of it, if you own the device, most of the time you probably know most of the stuff that's on there. Um, but if you're just brand new bought the device and the first thing you went and did is bought a praise charts patch uh for it uh, i tried to kind of lay out uh everything you'd need to know on how to download it so it talks about the editing software so for the helix it's hx edit uh how to update your device 
that's one of the key and also one of the key things we've noticed a lot of people having problems with when downloading the patches uh, is that their device isn't updated. Uh, and that's right. key. So you, you got to make sure that you're on the latest firmware all the time. And no need to fear. They're not like phones or computers where you update and then you lose everything or, you know, everything's gone. These devices usually just adds new effects or tweaks to different settings. But if you're running an older software version and you're trying to upload one of our new patches, they're not going to be compatible. Right. Uh, so that's why big, bold letters. Make sure, you're up, make sure your device is updated. Uh, at all times uh, and then yeah it kind of goes step through step by step there uh, on how to install them uh, talk about the impulse responses we're using some of our patches are using uh, stuff from Sela Sounds uh, a company from Vancouver who does uh, Kemper they do profiles for Kemper pretty well known uh, throughout the whole Kemper universe and they just started making uh, impulse responses so we've been using some of those on our patches they sound great uh, Tell me about the difference through. between pedal board mode and snapshot mode, just so we can get that clear in our head. Yeah, okay. So pedal board mode, uh, I personally am a fan of pedal board mode. Basically, that's like your traditional pedal board setup. So it goes through yeah. uh, the 12 buttons are just individual effects. So you click one button, it turns on a drive. You click it off, it turns it off, just like a regular pedal board. You turn on and off each individual effect. Uh, yeah. And then snapshot or scene mode uh, is kind of where our patches shine. Uh, and that's one button does like 12 different things. So one button can be called intro and it turns on a drive, changes a different reverb, turns our chorus on, changes the level of the output, um, which is kind of virtually impossible to do with one button on a traditional pedal board mode. But a lot of guys like to play, um, they'll have like one patch, like an essential sound patch, and then they'll just roll through and turn off a drive or turn off a reverb or turn off a delay. Uh, it kind of goes down to preference. Uh, so we do have an option for both. I have laid out all of the effects uh, in pedal board mode, and I've also laid them all out in scene mode to be yep. song specific wise. So, so get best every, of both worlds. every song you're saying you're getting both pedal board mode and snapshot mode and I mean, if you like the sound that you're getting in Battle Belongs, there's no reason why you can't use that sound in other songs yeah, that you like. Totally. If, if but, you like the sound of Battle Belongs, you can use it in another Phil Wickham song. And just instead mm -hmm. of using, and that's why I use, uh, there's always in all the patches, there's a clean snapshot or scene. And that's mm -hmm. with all the effects off. It's just the dry guitar amp tone. Uh, yeah. So if you're using pedal board mode, uh, I strongly suggest that you are in the clean mode, so that way you can turn off and on effects, and it doesn't change the song specific patch patches. Yeah, yep. um, that's the way to do it. So I always include that in case you're a pedal board guy. Okay, so now let's say you get the patch, and it's all of like four or five bucks. It's you know it's so cheap, really. It's almost worth just getting the patches for every song that you're oh doing. <laughs> exactly. So so let's take a look at your computer now so that we can see this sure. is like the editor mode of what you're looking at. And if you have one of the devices and you're not actually opened up in the editor on your computer, some of these devices have like little screens right on them. So you're going to see like a version mm -hmm. of this. But this is Canyon's computer and this is the mm -hmm. HX is that right? The HX edit? This is That's HX edit. This is yeah. HX edit. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, here we are in HX edit. Um, I like, I make most of the patches in HX edit rather than on the device itself. It's just way simpler mm -hmm. uh, to move around, click different effects, go in here. You know, you can add different blocks over here, uh, do whatever, move effects around. Um, that's kind of where the money is. Uh, the really cool thing about here is that you know when you click on let's say a reverb so let's take this reverb we have at the end of chain and you go into this bypass controller assign uh, this is where you can assign the color change the name uh, do other things and this is where you can also do some of the things we do in snapshot mode or scene mode is we'll change uh, things like the mix or the decay or the level on reverbs and delays uh, and you can't necessarily do that on a real pedal board unless you are literally going down on the pedal and turning the knobs mm -hmm. manually in the middle of the song. Uh, so being able to program those things 
in the software is really cool. Mm -hmm. So like with every single song, you're sitting down with the devices and you're probably spending at least, you know, an hour or a couple hours or whatever it is, dialing mm -hmm. in all the details of the dynamics and the reverbs and the echo and all that kind of stuff of all these sounds. All mm -hmm. this work you're bypassing if you just get it from Praise Charge. Totally. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's easy. So you can see up here on the top, Yeah. Uh, you can see right there, we've got this, the eight different snapshots for the different yeah. parts. Uh, so on your device, if you're turning on the intro, uh, you can see we've got you know the pitch activated, we've got the two drives activated, all the things going on, you know, where you go into the verse, cleaner sound right turns off these three effects turns on the chorus changes the reverb changes the delay so one one button one thing uh drastically changes everything that's going on mm -hmm. uh, and all you, do, all you gotta do is click the button one of the options i do like about this approach that we're taking is if you're not a guitar player maybe you're just a worship pastor but if you are a worship pastor you still care probably even more about the quality of the sound that goes on 100%. your stage from week to week. And you've probably got maybe three or four different electric guitar players. One's got a Kemper, one's got a Helix. They've all got their different preferences. You can get all the sounds from Praise Charts and then just send them out to your guitar players and say, please, would you just go with this? Because I love how you play. I just want to have a nice, consistent, clean, predictable quality of sound. So that's really what we're trying to deliver with these well, sounds. And also, you know, like if you're a worship pastor and you want to, and you just want, and you let's say you're, you don't really have electric players or you do and they don't have good sounding gear uh, and you want, and you want to just overall enhance the electric guitar sound on stage, you can get one of these devices, the Kemper, the Helix, the Podgo. I mean, the HX Stomp Podgo, those are going for like four or 500 bucks used. Yeah. Right, yeah. you can find those use cheap, and then you can just have that on stage, have the patches loaded in, and just tell your guitar players to learn the parts. Then they show up, and all the sounds are already dialed in for them. They just have to know what to click. Right. Beautiful. Okay, well, let's bring this home. Why don't you uh, show us what this sounds like? Whip out one of your guitars there, and uh, let's have a little demo of what this looks like, and you can kind of describe to us what you're yeah. doing as you're talking us through. So go for it. Yeah, so we're on, uh, let's see, we'll go to the intro here. We're on Battle Belongs. And uh, it's a big gainier sound. I've got the pog turned on. Uh, most of the time I've dialed these patches in, assuming that there's one electric guitar player on your team. Yeah. Most of the songs have like nine guitar parts. <laughs> um, like that's what they do in the studio. So if, how do you replicate that on Sunday morning with one guitar player? Uh, well, so come on. Most practices... churches have nine guitar players on their stage that's on a right. Sunday morning. Yeah. So I don't that, know what you're talking that's about. That's I'm going to. That's the yeah. church I want to go to. Come on. But uh, no, so most of these are uh, bigger, uh, more reverb, more drive. Um, it's just kind of more of everything uh, in order to kind of fill those sonic gaps uh, mm -hmm. between having the guitar players. Yeah, so we got the intro thing. So Battle Belongs, that intro is kind of something like... So then you're, you know, you're hopping over to the verse. All you gotta do is click one button, goes to the verse, and it's got the clean kind of chorus kind of sound, uh, and it's something that's like... Right, and then you've got second verse, same kind of lick, but it adds a little drive. Chorus, same kind of thing. You want to do a big chord, of course, depends on your player. If you're wanting to do, if you're wanting to do the rhythm kind of thing, um, most of the chorus kind of sounds are just kind of bigger drive. You can play the big, big C chords if you want. I know a lot of guys. Like doing those kind of big chords. If you want to play the lead line, you can. So yeah, there's just all the different parts of the song there. 
right away just dialed in, ready to go. One click of a button. Just got to know the parts. Awesome. Awesome. Canyon, I'm super excited about this. And uh, man, you're just continuing to pump out songs because we're basically doing do the chord chart. Then we do the lead sheet and orchestrate it. Then we send it off to our multi-track team. And it's Canyon's kind of at the end of the line. Well, he's also a part of our multi-track production team. And then also uh, at the end of the line, they're creating a set of patches for all these different devices. So get one or get them all. Depends if you're just a single guitar player. You just need one. If you're a worship pastor, get them all so that you're equipped to resource your guitar players on your team. So... I think it's awesome and keep working on it. And it's great that you're not only just doing this, you know, in your studio, but you're also a worship pastor yourself. So you're immersed in this world. You're listening to the sounds. You're here in the mix. You're probably going, refining the the tone. And so uh, it's getting better and better every week. Love working with you, man. That's right. Me too. Glad to be All here. Right. Okay. This is Ryan Dahl and Canyon Lewis from Praise Charts talking about guitar patches. If you want to find out more we were just talking about, go to praisecharts.com forward slash guitar patches. We got them all right there.